bodies. Oh my god. This place is now a wasteland. I'm so... is broken so the stairs it is luckily for them they live on the fourth floor it's still good for me Open up. It's me, Laura. Can you open up? No, I'm not infected or bitten. Once I get in, you can check me, okay? Thanks. Is everyone here all right? That's good to hear. All right. Here, check my arm. You, you could check my neck as well too. Do you want me to take off my shirt? <laughs> All right, then you trust me. Dude, I just came back from con. This all went to hell. I I was on the train coming back here and I was talking to my mom on the phone and she mentioned that like my dad wasn't feeling well. He was sick. And I told her I was coming over anyways before, you know, I get back to the house. And um Next then, the, f uh, the phone cut off, like the call dropped, it, it's just everything went dead. So once I got off the train and left the subway station, um, I took the taxi to get to my parents' apartment. And for some reason, the place was just a wreck. It was so much broken and so much, just, just everything was just chaotic. And I wanted to know what was going on. Nothing was said. It was quiet until I saw my dad eating my mom's face. Yeah, it was so gruesome and just terrifying. Like. He did not look like the guy that I knew, which is my father. And to the point that he just lunged at me. He got on top of me and nearly about to like bite my face off. And, and, and then all of a sudden I just, you know, my instincts kicked in. I grabbed the lamp and just whacked him with it. And just, he fell to the floor. He scurried back on his feet. And he was like about to tackle me until like I grabbed the kitchen knife and just killed him. Yeah. I killed him. My mom was already dead. I had 
to shoot him because he got back up, shot him in the head directly. He fell limp on the floor. A pool of blood formed. I stood there in the living room, shaky. After I killed my father in the kitchen, where my mom's dead body was as well. I saw my father's blood in my hands. I don't know what happened, but that wasn't the man that I knew. It was just, everything just went haywire. My mind it's just so, I don't know how to describe it. I wanted to know what was going on. I thought my dad had a cold, but this wasn't a sickness. I don't know what happened. I don't. I don't know what's going on, but we need to know answers and get to the bottom of this. We need to find a cure or something. We need to find a cure and survive as well too. We need to stay together. I'm holding up well. I'm just glad you all are okay. This is something I never thought would happen. I just never thought about this happening. I really did. This is something that is terrifying. This is not something out of just a movie or a video game. This is real life. This is reality. And all those innocent people I saw that got tackled down. I even witnessed a cop getting eaten alive. That's how terrifying and scary it was. Yeah, I know. I know. But we can't stay in this city any longer. We need to leave. Go somewhere far, far away from this city. I don't know, but we just need to leave. Just need to go. Again, I don't know where, but we just need to go. Yes, and leave home. I know you all are shaken up and unable to speak because of how scared and terrified you all are. But listen, we need to go. All of us. Money does not exist no more. Only survival. It's either be killed get killed so we all need to put our heads together and not have it up our asses and survive hoping that we can see the next day so I think we all should just pack up and just go right now leave everything behind that we once had and we once loved. So how about it, guys? Listener, are you with us? All right. That's what I like to hear. Let's go.